much. It is a privilege to have Coach Fabry and Sam Costella from the Quinnipiac women's basketball team just back from California. This is such a big deal. Eric Dobrett's even showered for, for you guys coming. <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> tell, tell me about the trip. Listen, we, we know what happened. You guys ended up losing to Oklahoma yep. out in Stanford. But tell me about the experience. Yeah, it was uh, really right from where we left off at the selection show. It was such a great event. We were excited to go head across the country. We were fortunate enough to charter our own flight, which I had never <laughs> been on. I had, I had never done that. Um, and uh, just the, the arrangements, the uh, parents going out, the band joining us, the cheerleaders joining us. We had an entourage of over 100 people. It was a great experience for us. It really was. Your second time in the NCAA tournament. Tell me about the, the difference. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was amazing. Both times were just absolutely I, I mean, I can't even put it into words. It's like what you dream of when you're a little kid. I remember my dad and I turning on Selection Show, watching it, and finally being able to be there. It just was amazing. Was... Talk about the foundation you know that you have helped lay here for Quinnipiac University. People talk about Quinnipiac University now two times in the last couple of years about going to the NCAA tournament. You're a big part of that. Yeah, I mean, I think it all started really with our freshman class coming in and how we just we wanted to get Quinnipiac on the map. We wanted people to know who we were, that we played serious basketball. And it all started from there, and we wanted to just be excellent, and we put in a ton of extra hours, and we're always on the court and spend a ton of time together. And I think every class that's joined us has really bought into that, and it's just been amazing. So you've been there twice. What do you have to do now to kind of continue to grow the program and, and win a game next time you go? Yeah, I, I, I think, you know, all the pieces are in play. Um, we've got a great roster returning um, for next season, but it's really the standard has been set with this graduating class. Um, and everyone else younger than them has learned from their ways and how to prepare in the off season, how to prepare during the summer months, how to get yourself better, all the extra hours that make you a player. Going forward, we need to continue to be who we've been, uh, but continue to recruit great student athletes that really want to, again, bring their mark, set their mark on the program as we go forward. I've always said that basketball is a game of confidence. And when you come into a season with the confidence, not a false confidence, but a real confidence, that we are the team to beat. You want to win the MAC championship? You're coming through us. We know we're going to be in the NCAA tournament. Have you gotten there? Have you, do you feel that confidence brewing? Well, certainly. Um, you know, we, we moved into uh, the MAC conference the last two years. We've had nothing but success, and we were able to you know, go through the, the conference undefeated and, and knock off uh, the nine-time defending uh, champion in Marist. But there's a tremendous amount of uh, great talent in the MAC. We're going to have our challenges going forward. But we do have that confidence that we've established uh, not only a winning uh, program, but a program that is wanting to win games in the NCAA. And that confidence definitely is still there. So who's going to win the whole thing now that you guys have had a chance to look at the brackets? Who's winning this whole tournament? I'm thinking UConn. I mean, I think that... You know, Notre Dame's also a great team, but I really think that they, I don't think they can be beaten. Real quickly, we're running out of time. Sam, you're, you're, you're playing days at Quinnipiac. Go over. Tell, tell me quickly what's next for you. I'm hoping to play overseas. I mean, that's, that's the goal. Hopefully head to a combine and maybe, you know, get recruited again and start the recruiting process a little bit again. You but don't want to give up that basketball just yet and get no, in the real world, no, right? No, avoid the real world at all costs. <laughs> the real that's world is to. awful. <laughs> right? <laughs> It'll always be here. <laughs> well, listen, thanks so much for coming in. It accomplished so much. It got him in the shower. You know, it's a <laughs> Two for. <laughs> Thank you for having us down, and thanks for all your support all year hey, long. Hey, congratulations. What a great Thank season, you, you guys. Thank Over you so 30 much. wins this year. Great year. Thank you for coming in.